to the grocery store because hubby wanted to cook dinner tonight it's date night at home and usually we'll eat something good and just watch movies and this is what he picked out so yeah you'll see how this turn out okay and then he picked up some little dessert and i wanted some apple turnovers i like to put them in the oven with some ice cream but yeah we'll see About that time. I don't know nothing about this. <laughs> okay, making sure it's all in there. <laughs> all right. Okay. Thank you, baby. Okay, so this is a little grocery shopping that I did. Just something slight, just had to grab a few little things. So let me show you what I got. I got some ground turkey. But sometimes I like to make turkey meatloaf or like turkey meatballs or ground turkey and spaghetti. So I just went and got some ground turkey. Turkey breast for some sandwiches and some wraps. Some chicken tenderloins for like my chicken salads. When I have my chicken salad, there's some tuna. So I like to make tuna fish wraps or tuna salad. I got some bread. And I love the cinnamon raisin English muffins. So I got these. Uh, street tacos, some small tacos. I already have some large ones, but I like the little street tacos for like breakfast. So I do like little eggs and sausage, little wraps or you know like fish or shrimp so i got these some sliced cheese i want to try this sauce my friend was telling me about it so i want to try this and then um the garlic butter sauce so i'm going to give that a try like on my salmon some mushrooms got some carrots uh Cream cheese. I love, gotta have my cream cheese. Got some lemons, some limes, because I like to have my lemon or lime water or in my tea or for my fish. Got some coleslaw. I got a cabbage. And I got two bags of spinach. I love spinach for like my breakfast, my omelets, or I like to mix it in my salad. Then I have some fresh broccoli. Got some cheddar cheese, some green onion, and I got these little mini croissants. I usually get the big ones, but I like the mini ones. And I'll make like two for hubby in the morning for like his breakfast. So I'll do like a little chicken sausage, which is this chicken sausage is so delicious. And chicken sausage, egg and cheese on his little croissants. Or I do like little croissant sandwich, like little small turkey breast or tuna fish so we really like the little croissants um and i got two packs of these the green beans and the string beans the string ones so and some eggs so this is just a little shopping haul i already got a bunch of stuff last week so this is just some extra little stuff that i need to get for the house some more um, dish wash, some Dawn dish soap, and my Myers Clean. I love this one. The lemon, I usually get the basil, but I still have some basil left. 
So I said, let me get the lemon. And then I got the Clorox Clean and Wipes. I already have the Lysol ones in the cabinet, but I want to try these ones out. Safe around kids, pet, and food. So I want to try these out. And yeah, so that's it for my little shopping. And then for my cat, this is the cat food. Crave, very good. I like to mix it for them. So this is the, this is a separate haul. I got this from PetSmart. So I got the indoor cat food and the real chicken and the real salmon. This got some wet food as well for them. So sometimes I like to mix it up for them or you know give it give them a different flavor every other day. So yeah. And yeah, that's it for my little shopping. Okay, hubby and I came to Hip and Hop's Bury. And let me tell you, delish. We always come here. I got the shrimp po' boy and he got the alligator bites po' boy. The beer is amazing. It's so delicious. And also we got the shrimp oysters. Let me tell you, these things just melt in your mouth, okay? They are so good. You will not be disappointed. So you guys got to come check out Hip and Hop's Bury and their black owned. Shout out to Javon. Javon's the owner. And yeah. y'all hey, and before i start the ikea haul well you might as well say this is just a general home decor haul well my mother-in-law took me to the thrift store and she goes thrifting all the time she goes every saturday with her friend her girlfriend and she said come on come with me to the thrift store because i'm sure it's something that you'll find that you'll like so i went with her and let me show you what i picked up okay I found these two beautiful vases and you know it's like that fluted style and I was just so amazed and look how much 99 cents and she has some weight to her as well so I really really like that then I saw this vase super cute this was $2.99 but they gave it to me for 99 cents okay they love my mother-in-law and it was like okay just because it's you 99 cents <laughs> So I got these, I picked up those two and let me show you what else I got because let me tell you, I am shook. Found this basket, super cute. I'm looking for a nice basket to go by my fireplace or somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna put this, but I want to put like, do something different. I can either put like some blankets rolled up in here or like some magazines or something, but I just thought it was super cute. And this was only $2. So I can't beat that, right? I'm not going to believe what else I picked up, but that's going to be close to the um, end of the haul that I found at the thrift store as well. So let's move on to Hobby Lobby. I went to Hobby Lobby. So let me show you what. So I found these pillow covers. I really like the color. 50% off, so $16.99, 50% off. So I got two of these. And then I got some stems. Like, how could you not go to Hobby Lobby and not get some stems? So I got these for the spring. These were $7.99. And 
and they were, I think they were 40% off or 50% off. So I've got two, I swear I got three. I'm going to go back and get like maybe two more. But if you ever saw my fall video, you know, I like the long extravagant stems. I want to do the kind of same look with these. So that's why they're very long. So these will be so cute to decorate for spring. So I picked these up. Then I also picked up these olive branches. Now, these are super cute, nice and full. So what I plan on doing is I want to make my own DIY olive tree. You want something very tall and large. And for the height of the tree that I want, it's going to be like four or five hundred dollars and i don't want to pay that for an olive tree i can but i'm not doing that so i seen a diy on tiktok where they purchased some olive branches and they made their own faux olive trees so i'm definitely going to attempt to do that i'm going to do a video on that so i got four of these hopefully it's enough i think she used three and a half so i just got four so yeah i got some olive branches and these are really good quality. And I don't know if I mentioned it already, but they're $13.99 and they were 50% off. Let me show you what I got from Ikea. So I went to Ikea and I picked up this fluted vase. I don't know. I know I'm going to have a cabinet full of vases, but I just love vases i just like to switch it up and i'm really digging this fluted look it's like it's like an off white like a creamish like a milky creamy so that's pretty i like that i know more vases i really like this tall just a simple clean classic clear vase and then i got the smaller version and let me tell you, I picked these up because in Atlanta, everything sells out or you can't find anything. When I went to Ikea, they only had like eight of these left. When I picked it up, someone, someone was behind me and they snatched two. And I'm just like, you have to just grab. The last time I went, they didn't have these. So when I saw that they had them in stock, I grabbed them. So I got those and then this is a new style that I seen and I really like this. So this is another, another vase. So yeah, so I know I got these vases, but it's all good. <laughs> so yeah, so I picked these up and then I really want some pillow covers. And I'm really digging this olive green. I was actually talking to my friend Stacy, and I really want to incorporate this olive green into my house. I, I want to get an accent chair in like this color or like more of the darker color. So this one is darker than these two. And this is old, let me tell you, this is old they had left. They didn't have nothing, they didn't have this color in stock no more. They only had one in the darker green. So yeah, I just snatched them up. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like green is a neutral to me. I really like olive green. And then I seen this on someone's YouTube channel and it's like a Sherpa boucle kind of type. And I really like this. And this was the only one and the last one. So I picked this up. I'll probably just mix match some of my covers. And then I saw this beautiful beige and black one. And this was the only last one. And I'm just like so hurt. I really want to get another one. But yeah. So these are the pillow covers that I picked up. And you see the vibe. Let me show you the vibe, honey. Okay. All right. With the fluted vases. You see the whole vibe? I'm telling you, I'm feeling this olive green. I do want to incorporate like some color in the house and this green is just perfect. Can't wait to decorate for spring and refresh and do set up my whole coffee table. I took them out the package because I want to show you the quality 
of these pillow covers so good so this you can tell the difference in the greens but i just love it and this is the sonata so i know a lot of interior decorators designers when they get to ikea they pick these up and these come in a variety of colors but yeah now the only thing i don't like about this one it it's not on both sides but it's cool because who's gonna really see that and one more thing i want to show you that i got from ikea i have two more things to show you as well but i got this um knife holder to go into my drawer now i really want to be honest with you the knife the acrylic knife holder that i got from amazon it, it just doesn't work for me it's just not functional it's very cute it looks very nice aesthetically but it doesn't it just doesn't work for me it, it doesn't work for me and the quality is yeah i'm just not feeling it i'm going to buy a really nice knife set and yeah it, it just doesn't work so i just want to be honest and let y'all know that so i also purchased these two frames so I found these two frames now in my video. Let me tell you, every, it was so empty in there. The frame picture air section, it was so empty. I'm like, what is going on? But that's Atlanta, you have to go early. I was in and out. That's why I didn't show as much footage. I was just in there on a mission. So I got these two frames and I took down the three small frames that I had on the side and my curtain. I patched up the holes. And I just want to do two large frames. Now, the way I measured it, the first frame is going to going to be the same height as the curtain rod up there. So it's going to be one, two. And I may either do a DIY art or I saw some really nice printable pictures off of Etsy. So I think I may do that. I may do the DIY art first just to see how it looks. And if not, let me show you that in my next video but it's going to look so cute and i can't wait to show you my breakfast nook chairs because they're black and boucle so that's going to be a nice little hint and yes yeah, so. and then i got this large beautiful mirror now this mirror is big she's big she's not your average 36 inch round mirror this mirror i think it's like 44 inches she's big because she comes like right underneath my boob and the quality is amazing i saw this in ikea and i was blown away i'm like this looks exactly like the cb2 and the crate and barrel one and for 99 dollars, you can beat that they actually raised the price to 119 now i believe i'm going to get another one to go upstairs in my bedroom but yes because you cannot beat this for this size mirror online they're probably like what five six hundred dollars yeah, i could not beat that she is beautiful and then i also picked up this faux tree i have to spread it out and i need to get a planter now the planter i want to get is very tall and it's going to give us some night some height and the planter i'm looking to get is from crate and barrel so i may splurge splurge and get that but yeah i picked this up i wanted to get another plant from ikea but it was gone it was sold out it should be back in stock in a week i'm telling you <laughs> ikea in atlanta is it's just it's crazy you have to really get in there and just grab and go yeah so i got that and then the last thing from the thrift store that i mentioned earlier was these canvases like come on now they had these for like 10 bucks, but they gave them to me for $4.99 each. Now, you know, canvas art pictures are very expensive, but I'm definitely going to repurpose these. So I could not beat that because for this size canvas, this this is at least five feet high, right? Um, well, I was standing up sideways, but let me tell you, you know, these canvases is like $80 maybe 60 80 100 dollars for this size so yeah i definitely going to do a diy 
and I think I'm going to put one of them's going in my bedroom for sure. Then another one may be going upstairs where you go up the stairs. And then the other one, I may have an art piece in here. I'm not sure yet, but they're going to get used. You can beat $4.99 for these canvases. I'm telling you, go to the thrift stores, see if you can find some old canvases so you can repurpose because yeah. I hope you all like my vlog and my haul. And don't forget to like and subscribe and communicate with me in the comments. I'll talk to you all soon.